animatedanatomy.com. Let's start by explaining the biceps femoris. The biceps femoris has two heads, the short head and the long head. The short head has the origin on the linea aspirae of the femur. And here is the linea aspirae. And right here it says short head of the biceps, okay? Then the long head has the origin on the ischial tuberosity here on ischium. If you look at it here, here it says biceps. It's right there where it originates. Now this muscle inserts on the head of the fibula. The head of the fibula later articulates with the back of the lateral condyle of tibia. This muscle is innervated by the common peroneal nerve and the tibial nerve. The tibial nerve long head and the short head common peroneal nerve. It serves for the flexion of the knee joint, lateral rotation of the knee joint and also it extends the hip joint. Here we have now the right semitendinosus muscle. The semitendinosus muscle also has the origin on the ischial tuberosity. If you look at it here you will see it says biceps and then it says semitendinosus. The semitendinosus muscle has the insertion of the fascia serenus. If you remember in the previous lesson I have mentioned one muscle called the sartorius muscle that also had the insertion on the fascia serenus. The fascia serenus was actually the connective tissue of joint insertion of three muscles. Here in our case we have the semitendinosus. In previous lesson we had the sartorius. And there is also the kratzelis muscle that I will explain a little bit later. Now let's get back to our semitendinosus muscle. The semitendinosus muscle is innervated by the sciatic nerve and it serves for deflection of the knee joint and the extension of the hip joint. Then we have the semimembranosus muscle. It is this muscle here. And the semimembranosus muscle has the origin also on the ischial tuberosity. That's here, the semimembranosus muscle. The insertion of this muscle is actually the medial surface of tibia. And it does not insert on the fascia serenus, but the medial surface of tibia. This muscle is also innervated by the sciatic nerve and it serves for the knee joint flexion and the hip extension. Now here we see the antagonist of the hamstring muscles and that is the quadriceps femoris. I have talked about this big muscle in previous lesson. So now you can see how they antagonize each other. They're on completely other side of the leg. Now I should talk about the medial compartment. As you can see there is a huge gap here and we will fill this gap very soon with new muscles. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe or like my video.